Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean from Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries. I was just thinking here, uh, in my broadcasting career, I had a very successful broadcasting career in radio and, and uh, cable television, really. But in my broadcasting career, um, I came across a man by the name of Bob Collier. He did the commercial for Grecian formula number whatever it was. It was a, the first hair dye that men ever used. And he was responsible for the successful coaching of many people's careers in soap operas and commercials. And I went to one of his classes and uh, very, very successful man. What was his technique that was so successful? The first thing that you had to do was conceive yourself as being a successful actor or a successful actress or a successful soap star or a success. You had to conceive it in your mind. He insisted upon that. He was using a technique that God explains in the Bible. It, you've got to conceive something in your mind first. I might have cancer. I conceive in my mind that the cancer is going to shrivel and die because of the power of Jesus Christ. You conceive it in your mind and you believe it in your heart because you keep saying it to yourself over and over again and then you say it with your mouth. That's how you got saved. When you got married, you had to conceive in your mind that the woman or the man that you loved would be a good mate for you for the rest of your life. You conceived it in your mind. And then you believed it in your heart and then you walked down the aisle and you said it with your lips. See, we're, we're made with two, two sets of ears. We have the two ears here and we have an inner ear which is made of bone structure within your head. And I, uh, I, I am of the personal belief that the inner ear has a direct connection to the spirit of man. Uh, that's why God gave instructions to Joshua. He said this, he said, uh, keep this book of the law, which is the Bible, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. See, God wants you prosperous and successful even though you're a sinful person and I'm a sinful person. He wants you and he wants me to learn his ways. Stick to the Bible, stick to his ways, and you will be prosperous and you will be successful. Now, it says in Proverbs 3.3, 3, now bear in mind what God told Joshua, right? Keep these, keep these pages of the Bible on your lips at all times. Say it. In Proverbs 3, 3, it says, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. First of all, I'm going to tell you something. There is nothing in the kingdom of God that works without love and faithfulness. Nothing. If you're a mean old bugger and you treat your wife like a piece of dirt and if you treat your children that way, 
you're not going to get anything out of God. So close the, the, the book right now. You have to learn to, to, to act and, and have the attitude of love and faithfulness. Never let, never let it leave you. Bind them around your neck, it says in the Bible, Proverbs 3.3. 3. Write them down on the tablet of your heart. How do you write them down on the tablet of your heart? By saying God's words over and over and over again. You conceive it in your mind, you believe it in your heart, and then you say it. I had a minister say to me one time, you're nothing but a big teddy bear. That's why uh, you, have a, you have a congregation. Well, maybe I was a teddy bear. But I always tried to show love and compassion and faithfulness to my congregation. And they, they loved me. <laughs> and I loved them. But what I'm saying is if you put the words of God in your mind and you conceive them, like by his stripes I am healed, that's 1 Peter 2.24. By his stripes I am healed, I am healed. You conceive it in your mind, you believe it in your heart, and you say it with your lips. You do that enough and you will write those words on the tablet of your heart. <laughs> it's wonderful. God is a wonderful father, and he loves you. Thank God we have the Bible. This is Pastor Dean from Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries. We don't ask for money. Maybe one of these days we might have to. If God tells me to do what I will, but right now, we're not going to ask for any money, and all we're going to do is preach the Word of God. I thank you for listening, and please share this with three people. Share it. It will change their lives. Thank you. God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.